What's up, fam? So we got a 2018 bourbon right here. Got another tranny rebuild. You know, this is starting to become repetitive. Which is no big deal, I guess, but... Ooh. Just another... Another six-speed. I think this is a full rebuild, honestly. So i got to make a video on that, of course. You know, if not, no torque converter swap out. Ooh. Damn, dude, I can't get this shit past right here. I really got to move this. But... Yeah, ain't nothing new about this one. I've already done a couple six speeds on the video or on the channel already. So this is going to be another one added, you know. 36 speed with the Suburban up there. Ooh. I just got here, man. It's early in the morning. It's like 8.30 or something. No big deal, but... Let's just get into this. Let me go grab some gloves real quick. Some cut resistant gloves. Some to my fingers. This is our job. This is our job. But you run through it, do a perfect job. Don't fucking put the bolts in the wrong spot. I give you a hundred dollars. Just get it done because we're behind. We're fucked. Because they made me close that 55 hour diesel job. So we're really in trouble. So I'm not in a good spot. Why'd they make you do that? Because of money. Because they gotta close it. So just let's run through this. You know what I mean? I gotta get you the parts. We got if the housing's bad, we got we got these parts, but we're gonna put other parts if you need it. But just help me out, just stay focused, you know what I mean? And let's we gotta flush it. I gotta figure some stuff, I gotta figure some shit out. But I gotta get this out of here. Uh, that a whole bunch of cars I'm, I can't fix, so they have some problems. But um Well, I mean, I'm not worried about this. Just let's get it done, and you know, hopefully we can, we can have it back in at lunch or whatever. We, we won't take it all the way down. We can take nothing, but we'll, we'll figure it out. I did a whole bunch of training on um, the batteries. You know, you know the new the new truck, the new electric truck. Ivan, you don't, you don't do nothing. What do you mean? mean? You go with the bob in your hand, you know, you get in the truck, yeah. and then you just, you just touch the brake pedal, and you go, you don't hit no buttons. And you just go, and you go reverse, go, 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 I'm sorry, it goes, it has it stop. So, you just get in the car, so you get in the car, you touch the brake pedal, and go, and it goes in reverse. And then you go, okay, you go, drive, and 
got going. You drove it? No. Oh. No. I, I had it. I drove with the training. So you don't do nothing. You just get in. So you go like this. You get in the car. You know you have the five on you. You yeah. get in the car. You shut the brake. Really? Yep. No start? No, no nothing? No buttons. What? No buttons. The battery weighs 3,000 pounds. Oh, so that's a big one. How much is the Hummer weight? I don't know. I don't know. I, I think it's the same platform. But, get this. I did a whole bunch of training on it. So there's a one speed motor and there's a two speed motor. Yeah. For the front wheel drive cars or whatever. Well, the one speed is, well, I did say one speed, but the one speed has a differential in it and it drives both the wheels, you get it? It puts a two speed motor that drives that wheel, that drives that wheel. Mm -hmm. Like oh, you're saying, yeah. like a, almost like a tester. So it was kind of cool doing the video. Do you know what I mean? Um, I did a whole bunch, I did uh, three of them because I was, I didn't do them all. <laughs> So we don't have no race for this electric kit? No. No. No, we, we don't do that. We're we're always behind. Look at look at look at the look at the Hellcats and look at that fucking TRX a super fucking car. Why don't I have why don't we have one? Come on. Yeah, maybe. You know what I mean? We're, we're not. I mean, we have a Corvette. Yeah, but it's not a supercar. I mean, I guess who's gonna be? I mean, the the Z06 the one buddy bought. So how fast is that? It's the it's the six cylinder. The supercar, right? No, it's a flat crank or whatever. Did you hear it? It's a. It runs at like. 12,000 RPMs or something. It's like an Indy car. But I don't know how fast it was. You know what I mean? No, I, I know the... the our, our Corvette can keep up with the Hellcats. Or beat them sometimes. On the which one? The new, new one? Oh, the new one will smoke it. Yeah. The new Corvette smokes them. Really? Yeah. Yeah, well, it's 140,000 fucking dollars. Yeah, the new Corvette will smoke so, it. New but it's not supercharged, right? Huh, you don't like your box? Yeah, I'm Don't do it. You didn't do 500 miles yet. Don't do it. Oh, my goodness. I didn't, I didn't get on it. Did you break the motor? And yeah, I know. I know. Somebody else said that. Too. This fucking thing. Yeah. Got metal everywhere. 
So we're gonna need a house. Yeah. For sure, for sure. Kit, but I got all the shit over there. In, in your little bucket? What bucket? Is that what you're talking about? No, that over there. I saved all that to build one. Oh, okay, okay. But we have, see the seal kits right there. And then I got some fibers over there. And he's got the converter in the housing. I'll see if there's something underneath there. Get the damn valve body. Get the fuck out of here. The valve body is gonna be toast. Toast AF. Bro, they done fuck this trans up, man. <laughs> oh, y'all saw the pan, man. This is gonna be, this is gonna be bad. Whoop, let me set that in the pan. The valve body. Go ahead, put that up in the pan, you know. Get it out of the way. Get this forward, reverse, seal, whatever you call. Fuck out of there, man. Come on. Get out of there, cuz. I'm bending it, man. Okay. It's up out of there. Now we can flip the trans vertically like that I'm trying to speed run through this thing there we go we get it like that do not forget we have a seal up in here we try to get this off with one hand got it it's going it's going it's going it's going hell yeah motherfucker hell yeah hold on i can't get it actually all right now i got it so apparently we're really behind, man. We have a 55 hour diesel ticket because we, we have to replace the um the fuel the fuel rail, the whole fuel system or something like that. And it's on the new 3.0, so. Yeah. Now I gotta get these 15s out from the bell housing right there. Life of a dealer, man. No matter how much you do, you always be behind. But it's not bad, you know. At least there's fucking work, man. I get the housing up now. Like that. Let it drip a little bit. Alright, scoot that over here. Set that like that so there's some room. All right, now we got the one, two, three, four, low reverse, and the four, five, six. So I'm gonna take those out at the same time because why not? Set that to the side. All right, man. Take all these drums out. You know what I mean? I get all these drums out. Wait. I don't even know what drums these are anymore. I think this is one, two, three, four, low reverse. That might be um, one, two, three, four, five. 
one, two, I, I, I don't know. I don't know anymore, man. Anyways, I gotta get this one, two, three, four, low reverse drum out. I think this is one two three four three five R. This is one two three four low reverse. So I gotta get that out. You know I got the big old big old lock lock ring up in there. So let me get that off. Damn, dude, just had like a brain fart, man. It's been a while since I've been doing this. I guess it's bad that I don't like really memorize what's wrong with these trans or what what clutches are what. But yeah, I, I kind of. Honestly, kind of forgot. But I mean, it's no big deal. It'll, it'll come back to me. Ooh. I gotta get this scary ass ring out. Dude, that shit has so much flex to it, man. Like, it's so powerful. Alright, so now don't forget to mark this. Don't forget to mark this thing from where this line is right there. You know? Just so it's easier to put back, you know, you don't got to keep looking or nothing, you know, you at least know which one it is. So I mark it like that. And now just take it out. Oh my goodness, that cringes me out. Oh, it cringes me out like going straight. Really cringes me out, man. Smack it back down in there, man. Could it get stuck? There we go. That's how you do that. And this is a two-wheel drive. So I gotta look to see if this thing has a sleeve or not. Let me see. Let me try to... Oh goodness gracious. Oh, Let me try to look down up in there. If I see a sleeve and I don't think I see it. You know, if you look up in here, around the, well, you see where it's blind right here? If you look all the way, there's no sleeve on it. You know, right there where it stops, I think that's the trans case, so there's no sleeve to stop it. So I believe we can take it out. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it out. Don't mind me, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and slide it right out real quick. So let me go grab the T-handle real quick. Got the T-handle fan. All right, now let me take this fucking thing out of here, man. Oh my goodness, it won't come out. It's got a sleeve on it. All right, I guess I'll leave it in there. To that. All right, so I just got back from taking the tinkle. Here's the six speed. You know, I haven't done nothing to it. I'm about to start cleaning it all up, you know, and gonna start rebuilding it as quickly as I could but as quickly as I'm going I'm still gonna make sure I'm doing everything right you know so no matter what I'm doing I'm still gonna... this is heavy sorry guys sorry you had to witness that it's terrible form But yeah, don't mind me. I'm just going to start cleaning this bad boy up. Oh, 
Oh, goodness. That's just thing. I think the inside's clean enough, man. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, dude, that shit stinks, dude. Oh. Mm. I want you to read that right here. It says, from long-term exposure contains solvent which can cause permanent brain and nervous system damage. Okay. Yep, that's what we're smelling out here. No big deal. I'll be a millionaire by 25 at this job. So it'll all be worth it. <laughs> love it, man. I love it. Anyways, we're here for the crack. We're not here for the dollars. Right, guys? Anyways, here we've got the low reverse one, two, three, four clutch pack set right here, dog. Let me open this thing up. Let's see, let's see what it's looking like. Remember, there was a lot of metal, so, um, hopefully, hopefully there's no metal trapped deep up inside these pistons, because that would not be good. So let, me, let me check these clutches really quickly. Precision transmissions, I'm coming for that ass, man. They haven't uploaded in months, man. What y'all doing, bro? What y'all doing? Hope y'all ain't taking no big, long vacay. Look, these, these, these seem a little scored right there. Can y'all see? I don't think that really matters. But, 
that does mean the plate has thinned out a little bit. If it's scored, that means the metal's like scraping off of it, you know? That's my theory behind it. All right, let's check one, two, three, four side. Let's see what she's looking like. Yeah, these all seem pretty scored, man. I mean, I think Tony will say they're all right, but yeah, look at this. What is that? You see how it's like scratch right there? What's that all about, man? It don't seem too bad. It don't seem too, too bad. I guess. Yeah, look at the clutches. They seem scored and stuff. What do you mean? Like, I don't know. We have no, they're not. Small scratches? No. See, these are all good. I know what you're saying. Was there a lot of metal in there? I don't know. No, not really. Down there, there was. See, we won't pull the other side out. This is when we gotta pull the sleeve off and everything. I don't want to do it. If it was a full one, I would just pull it off. If it was real bad, did they burn up the thing? Yeah. It don't look bad. If it looks bad, we'll, we'll put the fuck up. This is it. If it's okay, we won't just bring it back together. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, it's just like a little bit of a I guess we'll put them back together. Clean them all. Thank you. 
I got the grab the fluid. Go ahead and put these back in. Come over here. I already know how the pattern goes, you know. Those wave plates, steel, and then the fiber. Soak it up. Get that shit wet. Throw it in. Steel. Fiber. Fiber. Another fiber. Lastly, a fiber. Then we put the top on it. All right, now I gotta find a little stump if it has one, and I don't think this one has one, so we're good. All right, flip this thing over, put the other side in. Some more brake clean. Dry them off. All right, slam them back together. Also, get the low reverse clutches back in. Fiber. Gotta make sure I don't fuck up, man. and pull this thing out again, fuck that.
the last step, man. All right, now let's air check it. You can only do it on the side with the four holes right there. And it'll always be the furthest left side for whichever you had facing up. So for this top side, since it's facing up, it's gonna be far left side. leaking from the piston so it's good flip it over remember we have the four holes it'll be the far left side for whichever facing up so let's do it again I do not hear it leaking from the piston so it is good this set is good so I'm gonna go ahead and pop it back in. Remember where you marked it? I marked it right there. So you could line it back up, no problem, back to that line in the trans. So we'll do that. If it doesn't clunk all the way, sometimes you have to spin the bottom, I forget what you call that, the uh, over, I don't know. You just have to spin it though. And then it'll clunk down all the way. To sit down all the way, you know, where it's supposed to. <laughs> Anyways. Let's get the ring back on there. Waste no time. Clean this shit up. Throw it back on there. Nice and sparkly. Grab your big old snap ring. And put her back in. Put her back in the trans, man. brothers I got it here's the ring clean this shit off gotta grab some goo I don't see it anywhere I mean there's some there's some blue one right there see it right there I don't I don't need that one have a brand new bottle of the green one, which I don't want to use that one yet. But it's looking like I have to, so. Yep, I think I have to. Let's grab it. Go ahead and use it. Put our bearing up in there, and then you gotta spread the grease to where the next drums are gonna sit. You know, just grab a little bit more. Because we're going to have some drums. Those, those, those drums right there. They're going to sit down up in there. And it would suck if it went in there dry. I know. It's always nice to have lube. So anyways, let me clean up the drums. That'll be next in this project.
right. So this thing rides on some bushings right here and down here as you can see by the markings and you just got to look really close make sure it's not completely wore out you know the way you could really tell is by feeling it if you could like if your fingernail gets stuck i have gloves on but i don't really feel nothing so i think this one's gonna be all right but if you have one and it's pretty bad like you can feel the grooves in there you might want to replace the whole drum and then look look at the look at the one two three four low reverse look at the bushings on it make sure it's not completely tore up i'm just gonna loop this up just a little bit of it. so it goes in much smoother I could throw it back in there. I'm gonna need two hands for this. I wish I could show you how to do it. Just to wiggle it up in there. clean my hand real quick man no but the way you know it's in there right like is if you look at the drum right in the opening it's almost sitting right on the case it's almost sitting right on the one two three four and if you look down here once you spin the drum the the bottom shaft or whatever should be moving in the opposite direction so that's how you know if you have it all the way up in there so now we have the other drum that goes into that previous drum we just threw in there so you need to be careful there's a bearing right here this sits on the other one, so let me clean that up, set it on. Set it onto the drum, we just glue into the pram, you know what I mean. Okay. Throw that up in there, and if you look closely on here, you can see there's a bushing right there. I don't think y'all will see because there's no light, but you can see, let me see, hold on, let me get a light. So as you can see, all those dots right there in the center, that's the bushing right there. So that's what you want to lube up. So you want to lube all that up, you know? Because that's where the that's where the drums right of course so you're gonna want to make that lubricated so no problem all right get some lube let me throw more up in there so it's no problem when you throw the drum up in there get all aggressive <laughs> anyways clean the hands I need another bottle break thing drum that holds all the metal for some reason.
Yeah, man, but for some reason, this drum with the holes in it, it always seems to hold all the metal. So that's why I damn near sprayed a whole bottle of brake clean on it. I was off this drum, and I, it looks pretty good now. I don't see nothing on it now. So that's good. Anyways, so on here, it also rides on the bushing on two, two locations. You can see here on the bottom and up here where it's a little scored. And um, they don't seem bad. So I think I'm just going to lube them up, throw them in, no big deal. All right, you can throw it in there also. And the way you know it's in there, it goes all the way down. And it spins in the same direction, or the, the output shaft spins in the same direction as the drum that you're turning in. So that's how you know that's in there. All right, and then you got this drum. You just clean it. Let me set the bearing back up in there before I lose it. Set this bearing back up in there. Alright, same thing with the drum. If you spin it in one direction, the opposite chest should spin in the same direction. But with this one, it does not spin in the opposite direction. It does not spin. 
counterclockwise. It does not spin counterclockwise because the 1234 single diode or whatever prevents it from doing that. So, the more you know. Alright, so now we have the 1234. The one that always gets burned. Get the plastic thing out of here. All right, let's check out the clutches. They don't seem too bad, honestly. But it's never did a book by its cover. All right. Oh yeah, these are toast. Yeah, look at the metals, man. Can't even clean that off. Watch. Things are dark. Yeah, these are burnt. No good. Look how dark they are, man. Just to show you, I mean, let me clean them off and show you. Yeah, man, look at these. Like, even after spraying them down and everything, look, they're, they're still dark. So, these are all burnt. I, I'm, I'm going to suggest replacing the piston also. So, we'll see what Tony says. I'll be back. All right, so after further analysis... There's no need to replace the piston. On top of that, we do not have one. So, yeah, I just tore it apart, made sure there's no metal up in there. And I air checked it. So this thing's good. Somehow fluid still keeps coming out though. So. But yeah, anyway, let me show y'all. Look at these burnt clutches compared to a brand new one. You see the difference? Even after these have been cleaned, you can still see how dark they are. These are burnt. And on the edges, you can see them starting to come off a little bit right there. 
If you look at this edge, it's completely fine. So, yeah, that's how you know they're starting to wear off. The edges are starting to show, as you can see, on all of them. So where are the clutches at? Should I just grab them off the wall? Here. Right here. There's no uh, off the bottom. If we only need four, five, six, I have it up there. If you just need four, five, six, and we're gonna keep all the rest. And then if you want steels. Yeah, here. Just put new steels. How many are there? Six. Yeah, they don't even look flat. So one, three, four, six, yeah. It's all cleaned up. Put it back together now. Just do wave play and then the steel. in there. Grab the steel. That thing. This thing. This thing. That thing, this thing, that thing, and then finally the last fiber. Put the top on. And I don't think there's a little wall that blocks off the ring on this. No, there ain't. So we're good. One's all good. Fucking rebuilt. There we go. Now we gotta rebuild the bottom side of it. Like that. Rebuild the bottom half. Spray all of it off. 